What is up guys, today I have a Nitro 5 SR laptop here, gaming laptop, and I would like to upgrade it uh, with uh, more um, storage. Actually, I've got here Kingston NV2 PCIe 4.0 M2 solid state drive, and for it's actually for one terabyte here, made in Taiwan, and should be super fast. That's how it looks like, and the price of it is around uh, sixty dollars. And uh, Acer Nitro here with Core i5, GeForce RTX uh, 4060. Although it has additional space to install it, that's why I would like to do it. Actually, I will do it without breaking the warranty. Here I've got only 512 gigabyte, and it will be plus one terabyte, so one terabyte of uh, one and a half terabyte, which is more than enough. And without a warranty, it's possible to do it. Actually, when I bought it here, I've got this package here for upgrades. So it's a deep upgrade cable uh, and there's a deep upgrade screws here. It was um, together with the laptop itself. So now I will disable it. I will firstly show you that I've got memory here, 406, uh, 476 gigabytes available here. I don't know whether you see it. Now I will restart and show you that it will be added here as a second disk. Here we have the Acer Nitro 5 facing down actually. And let's firstly unpack uh, the SSD from Kingston. Let's try to do it carefully, but I don't think it's possible. So just let's open it. Okay, that's how it looks like. Really small, really light uh, and really with a fast speed here it's actually 512 gigabytes installed here of the same type of memory then you need to regular screwdriver uh, actually i have a set of it so let's find out the most suitable one and maybe something like that okay this one is too big maybe it takes more okay this is perfect size and the name of it is SRVPH1. I don't know whether you see the name here, but that's the name. So let's open all the screws. It has one, two, three, four, four, uh, okay, 12 screws here. Next step, uh, you need to, when you dismantle all the 12 screws, you need to find a way to open it up. Actually, you need a plastic credit card or I use special set. Um, I don't think this will work, but for example, this things can be and need to find somewhere is a good space to catch it on the side. Let's try this one. Maybe from this side, it will be easier. Okay, I see how it's going. Actually, somewhere here we can we can find the space. I already dismantled partly it here. Just scroll it down, and let's move on here to dismantle it to the next stage. Okay, use your hands and press it a bit to dismantle it carefully. So as you see, one side is going here. From another side, stuck somewhere. Okay, so moving. I don't know whether I should put out the USB. I think yes. Okay. Okay, all right, almost here. Finally, we are here. That's how it looks like. And that's how brand new laptop looks like. So the next step, what you should do is uh, disconnect your battery here. So here you have the tape. And the battery connector here is available. So before doing anything, I suggest to put it off carefully 
All right, done. Okay, wait, let me put it back. All right, so battery disconnected. That's a better one. And here we have the space near the cooling where we can input or insert our memory here. And before inserting, firstly, we need to unscrew one screwdriver here. So it is a bit different one. So let's search for suitable one here. No. Let's find out which one we need. Maybe this one. Okay, perfectly. We are here. Then finally we have our uh, SSD here, so connect it fully like this and press it a bit. So you see here, that's how it should be. Only what I don't like that we have some cables here that are not perfectly fit. So let's put them inside and now add this uh, SSD again. So, okay, fit perfectly. Now then we have a uh, screw here, need to put it back. Okay. Okay, it's back, fit perfectly. A bit moving. Let's try to fix it more deeply, not to move it. Okay, I think. It's maximum one, so not going to be better. I don't know actually why. Okay but fit perfectly, should be fine. Then connect back our battery here. Be careful during the connection, do it carefully and slowly. Okay. Oh, okay. Battery connected. All right, just keep it very tight here. Okay, then close everything back. Check one more time, everything connected, here connected. Then close it very carefully. before putting the screws back. Okay, I suggest to give it a try. So open it up and turn it on. Check whether everything's working. So for now I'm for battery, didn't connect anything here. So seems turn on. Let's wait until it will be fully on. Check out whether we have this uh, in our uh, laptop and it's visible and then we can just screw everything back all right let's move on actually open this laptop you see the one disk here available 512 gigabytes which is installed here available 476 uh, so let's try it out uh, let's open the disk manager here 
disk um, manager here yeah, create and format hard disk okay actually let's see disk okay it's not visible here here unknown disk we have okay we can actually use uh, another way which is more simple let me try to find it here system storage and uh, let's wait advanced storage settings disks and volumes here and here we have the disk kinston so it's not visible now uh, okay recommend it initiate create a volume simple volume disk d format okay so we have it here this d 931 gigabyte here available click properties here so it's actually one terabyte hardware is nvme kingston that's the model name of it uh, actually works pretty well and now you have extended memory so after this you check it out you disable your laptop shut it down and put all the screws back then everything should be smooth so let me disable it first okay disabled then we put back this plastic thing here do it very carefully okay 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 done this part uh, then all the screws are here let's put them all back it will take maybe several minutes Basically, that's pretty much it. Everything is done. Now we have 1.5 terabyte here installed of the fast SSD memory. It was pretty simple and uh, depends on your country, it will keep your warranty. Before changing it, I recommend to consult with your local Acer uh, store or support line here. So in case you still have some question, just leave it comment below, put the thumbs up and see you next time.